The following demonstration is extremely dangerous. Do not try this at home. What you are about to see is a staged demonstration of a lithium ion battery fire in a generic notebook computer. To start with, we externally force the battery into the runaway state, but the actual battery reaction, an ongoing chain reaction of each cell, is real. The first battery cell has just vented. The heat from this cell is going to start a chain reaction into the other cells in this multi-cell pack. As you can see by the small smoke trail, that first battery cell vented with such force that it blew a hole in the palm rest. If this were a real life situation, the best strategy would be to move away from the laptop quickly. What you saw there was the second cell in the pack erupt even more violently. Flames shot outside the field of vision of the camera, approximately six feet high. You just saw the successive venting of the third and fourth cells. In this demonstration, the fire continues to burn hotter with each reaction, and each cell venting becomes more violent. <laughs> That's my hand coming into the picture with a remote thermometer. The temperature of the fire is so hot that it pegged the thermometer above its maximum range, giving us an error code. Temperatures had to exceed 1,000 degrees. If this were a real situation, your natural tendency would be to try to put out the fire. Be aware that this is a very dangerous situation. Not only is this an electrical fire and a chemical fire, but a metal fire as well. Throwing the wrong components on this fire will only fuel the fire and make it spread. You could use a Class D fire extinguisher, but if you're uncertain, stand back and call the fire department. There's a battery pack from another portable just to the right of the flames. In an earlier failed attempt at this demonstration, we had struck a portable with blunt force causing the battery to puncture, smoke, but not ignite. We took that battery out of the portable and set it just to the right of the notebook in this demonstration. The system used for this demonstration was not a production unit. It was made out of generic parts. It did not contain a recalled battery.